We've seen a lot of NDSU athletes stick around after they've graduated to make an impact in the community. After this weekend, you can add another guy to that list. Real high, real high, real high. Fargo Basketball Academy was busy this weekend. About 20 kids took the court and each day learned parts of the game from someone who has shined at the shack. For the first time since COVID, former Bison Vinny Shahid was in the FM area to reunite with the game, but this time in a different way. Being back is always huge for me. Um, and so just to come back and be able to do that and give a message to the kids to continue to work hard, it's, that's, it just means the most to me. So the only thing we do is when you squat this basket, you get a point. Number Zero teamed up with the academy to put on three days of clinics for kids, youth all the way through high school. He's a natural coach. Um, his presence, his energy, his charisma, um, he, just, he just makes great connections. It's not the first time Shahid has done something with the organization. Last year, during the height of the pandemic, he used their gym to train in preparation to play pro ball in Europe, and in return, gave virtual lessons. Hey, it's Vinny Shahid here with Fargo Basketball Academy, and I know that it's tough that we are not being able to you know, get in gyms, and I hope everyone's staying safe, but um, that's not going to stop us from getting better. It's like family to me. Um, you know, they, they reach out and... We talk all the time and they check up on me, I check up on them. The Academy's relationship with Bison basketball has always been strong. It led to his involvement. And this weekend, Shahid brought on two more members of the herd. You know, when we were this age, we looked up kids, kids that are in our position right now. And so we're able to give back to the community that supports us so much during the year. It's just great. Being able to set an example for these kids, just being uh, a role model in the community, just trying to set the right example, it's just real cool. And obviously the kids look up to us and and just being able to teach the game, doing something that we love is just awesome. I feel like if you're having fun doing anything, you're always getting better when you're doing it. And so those three things is to listen, learn, and have fun. Those are my three things for the kids.